Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of RGU Talk. I'm Megan and I am joined by the lovely Elaine, who is a radiography lecturer. She wears many hats, but that's one of her roles. And we are going to be speaking about interviews today. So hi, Elaine. Hello, hello. <laughs> Thanks for having me. Um, so the reason we brought Elaine on board today is because we know interviews are something that, well, if you're listening to this, you're probably quite nervous about. And Elaine is not only one of the people who does the interviews, but she was also a previous RG student. Yes, many moons ago. Yeah, so she still remember it. <laughs> so she went through this process herself, so she can kind of give the absolute best overall tips and tricks on how you can ace this. Yeah, I suppose you could call me the guru, really, couldn't you? <laughs> Obviously, you know, from my accent, you probably gathered that I'm near uh, from this uh, neck of the woods, but um, I'm an adopted Aberdonian, I suppose. And I think when I did apply um, for radiography at the time, you know, Aberdeen was kind of an alien place to me. I'd never even, I'll be honest, sorry, I never even heard of the place before. I'd, I'd been uh, a little bit of a country bumpkin and the when I got that letter in the post to invite me to a selection visit, I was like, oh, what does that mean? You know, and thinking about the, you know, the anxiety beforehand. But what was lovely about it, I think, and what really makes it is the fact that, you know, you get to see the city as well. The first time being in Aberdeen, first time being in Scotland, kind of the beautiful buildings, the architecture, and really kind of coming into the building, like, you know, such a big, impressive campus. And it kind of felt a little bit like home to me. And um, strangely, even though I was kind of a bit far away. Um, but yeah, and I think, you know, definitely, you know, from my own experience, um, and I, I still say that to, my, to the applicants now, is that, you know, you do, it's a, it, part of it, you know, is an interview, but it's a selection visit. So there are group things and you get to speak to other people who have applied for the same course you have. So they've got similar interests here and there might be people that you might end up being friends with. And from my from my experience, you know, lifelong friends. And um, so that's something that's quite nice about it as well. And I think that's something that you don't realise until you actually come to the selection visit and you see that because all you're kind of focused on is is that interview like oh my god I've got this interview and it's something that's so daunting but really it's just about us having an opportunity to get to know you but also you having the opportunity to get to know us as well you know it's really kind of just seeing your passion for the for the profession you know and that doesn't doesn't necessarily mean they have to learn off the whole page off the the professional bodies website was really looking at the kind of qualities that we look for so looking at the kind of care and communication skills teamwork skills all those kind of softer skills that we'd kind of like to see not just in radiography candidates but also for all of the candidates that come to RGU there's it's all those kind of qualities that we look for as well and it's not just through the selection visit itself but looking at your personal statement things like that so it's really kind of an informal chat rather than an interview and it, it is it is quite nice you know it's it's quite intimate in the sense that it's us with you know two members us with a candidate so we actually get fourth year students involved so you actually get the opportunity at the end of our kind of chat to actually ask the students questions because that's really important to us as well that you hear those kind of experiences as well because you'll hear it straight from the horse's mouth to say that and again they can give you a kind of experience on where's the best place to go on a night out I've had applicants ask me that I do not hold it against them um <laughs> you know and it's it's things like that it kind of is a bit more reassuring to have a have a student there um, and again it's great for those students as well kind of practicing those skills you know it's it's quite useful for them as well so it's kind of a mutually beneficial kind of experience for everyone really involved. I think it's really important to remember that you know the staff at RGU we're not we're not just choosing you there you also need to choose us. Yeah and that's the thing you know and that's one thing we do try and um, you know emphasized you know that you get the opportunity to get to know us as well and um, there's only you know with a lot of the teams like a lot of them will be involved with the selection process so it's a great opportunity to kind of put a face to the name um, and again you know we always say there's loads of opportunities to get in touch with us if you have any queries and um, because again you know there might be follow-up questions that they might have afterwards so we're always very open and kind of transparent about that and very welcome into any queries that come up afterwards as well no that's good thanks Elaine um, can you think of like so now that you have experience at doing the interviewing what are some of the absolute like what are some of the mistakes that you see students make I think the thing I would say is that you can always tell when someone's nervous and that's fine it's absolutely natural to be nervous um but it's just about just being yourself you know we're 
very kind of we're radiographers all of us are radiographers we're always we're always trying to kind of help bring out the most of you and you know if we see that you're struggling we might ask you a question to help pull that out a bit more you know and kind of give you that opportunity to kind of reflect on that area a little bit more just to give you kind of the best chance um, and I think you know being kind of nervous and anxious and the one thing I would always you know kind of the full paths that I've seen in the past is that they've not quite maybe looked at the profession as much as it should have maybe or I always say you know that getting experience is a great testament to you it's not only the fact that you've gone and made the effort to go to a department or a site to experience a day in the life of that profession wherever you go wherever you're interested in but it means then that you've got a better understanding as well because someone that maybe goes off and learns off the professional bodies webpage, you know you learn a little bit about it but to go and experience it because the majority of our courses in RGU are mostly placement and that's the experience you're going to have when you go out and to have that you know all, all our placement sites are really you know um welcoming to students so you know they're always keen to get people involved in the profession so they're always quite welcoming and definitely not having that experience it doesn't disadvantage you but it makes it a bit harder for you to actually demonstrate how interested you are in the profession when you haven't really experienced it and there's lots of different challenges that might come up and it's about being honest about it maybe that you you couldn't get the time or you're studying and it's about just being honest about that you know there's also like so say say you're not able to get experience like you say so you're working a full-time job you're trying to do well in school get the grades to come here that's fine there's lots of other outlets that you can take advantage of like if on YouTube you can look search a day in the life of blank whoever you're trying to be there's lots of different events that are run throughout the year as well and um, you know different open days different sessions where you can come in um, and different access programs as well that are, pa are part of the um the kind of host of different things we offer at RGU and definitely you know engaging with some of them could possibly help you as well you know it's definitely like I actually myself didn't have experience in an x-ray department until after I'd done my interview and I think you know for for different re for different reasons you know and I'm totally understanding of that and so are the rest of the team and everyone that's that's there but it, it does certainly help that's one thing I would say as long as you understand why you're wanting to do Absolutely. what you're saying you want to do I guess that's the most important yeah just having that awareness of the profession because there will be similar qualities to a lot of the professions, nearly all of them, there's similar attributes that we're looking for in the candidates, but then there's slightly different ones for different professions because they're all different in their own way. And it's about having that awareness um, and just being clear as to kind of the, like have a look over the course, you know, don't be finding out, you know, halfway through your selection visit that, oh yeah, so the course is like half placement. Oh, I didn't realize that, you know, just have a read over it beforehand and have a good, you know, awareness of kind of, and have an idea what kind of question you want as well and um, because then you can ask them straight away and you have a better idea then going in and a bit again you're a bit more at ease then and even if you have questions beforehand before your selection visit ask them definitely we're always trying to help wherever we can because again you know we're trying to get everyone to be the best they can be and um, and if we can help at all we'll do our best can you think what are some things that people who are getting interviewed, what are things they can do that can make them really stand out if they're looking to go that extra mile? One thing, as I said, we definitely do get, get a bit of experience, even if it's a half day, or do a bit of research. Um, obviously, you've got the professional bodies for, for the majority of the healthcare professions. Um, so whether it be like radiography, so be Society of Radiographers, OT is the Royal College of Occupational Therapists, you know um the csp is for physiotherapy so there's all these different professional bodies and i would definitely recommend um going on their their website most of them all have instagram pages uh facebook pages twitter pages have a look at them you know they'll give you an insight as well because there's lots of different resources that are there as well and it gives you an idea as well of kind of um what to expect the kind of qualities we look for in candidates as well and the fact that you've gone and read those things you know it just is something additional to discuss and demonstrate when you're at your selection visit as well. So definitely read up on it, but don't let it be something that you've learned off as a script. That's the one thing I would definitely try not to, because what will happen is that you'll forget something 
and then you'll get so nervous that everything that you had in your in your mind just pours out and you just forget everything and you don't want that either and um, so definitely either get experience or just do your reading and just be yourself you know and the thing is is that there's loads of different things different jobs or different um, volunteering that you do that you might not think actually adds towards you but it totally does and that's something that will have your 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 personal statement in front of you and you're like tell us about whatever you've done and there's always whatever job you've done there's always some kind of transferable skill that you've got to the profession whatever you apply to and that's the thing you know you might think that we'll totally grill you on what you know about radiography but we might just ask you about you know some random interest that you have or you know and sometimes they're the ones that stand out the most actually so yeah no that's awesome um I think the listeners will find that extremely helpful yeah. um so could you just finish off by saying for the people who are listening and who are feeling quite nervous, what are three things you would say to them to put them at ease? I would just say, just be yourself. Don't dress in a three-piece suit turning up because you know what, unless you dress like that every single day <laughs> and, you know, by all means do so, but just be yourself. Just arrive, you know, kind of smart, casual, you know, don't arrive as if you're going for a night out or anything, but, you know, you, you kind of want to be, smartly dressed but not overly smartly dressed and in the end that kind of puts you at ease as well talk to the applicants there's everyone else that's there is going through the same thing and sometimes just chatting to someone else that's there can really put you at ease and again they could be the people that you end up studying with as well so just take that bit of time and ask questions if you don't have questions at the time it's okay don't worry about it. We don't expect you to have questions straight away because it is a lot of information we're telling you about. So honestly, just be yourself. Turn up, you know, nice and early. Give yourself plenty of time. Just check the time that you're there. And again, you always have contact details as well. So remember, you get emailed afterwards. So that means you've got someone to contact with about anything at all. So whether it be you're worried about your grades or worried about your assessments or anything like that, please just get in touch with us. Honestly, we're not that scary, I promise. <laughs> I don't think anyone think, would think you're scary ever. <laughs> um, but no, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, and yeah, so everyone, if you can take anything away, just be yourself. If you can get experience prior, please do that. It'll help you stand out. And that's the thing, you know, I always think, what's the worst that could happen? Um, you know, and it's just about just being yourself and just relax and um, go and get a coffee beforehand and um, take your time you know there's loads of different events that are on don't rush yourself we're not rushing you so you know what it's all quite organic quite relaxed honestly it's not as bad as you think it is I promise <laughs> and if you have any other questions for Elaine or about interviews please send us a message on Instagram or Facebook we'll get back to you perfect and best of luck yeah best of luck bye <laughs> bye